Okay, it's March 23rd, a nice sunny day, so I've dragged out my own homemade solar panel to see if it actually would work. Um, what you're seeing here is, um, well, you're seeing my little baby goat get in the way, but you can see this is just a cheap old um, picture frame. I actually got it at Big Lots for $30 and took the really disgusting, gross, fake art uh, picture out. Um, and used it flipped it over and used it for part of the backing and then what I've done is I've taken these ever bright solar cells and soldered them in series and the negative terminal is the front side is the, front, and the positive on the back I had a horrible time getting these things together they're very very fragile and um, they don't solder well um, I used to be an electronic technician actually for the military and industrial complex. Don't, go, don't eat that. And um, just chewing on the, on the ground wire. <laughs> Great. So, um, come on goat. So, uh, anyway, so I know what soldering is supposed to be. In fact, we actually had a soldering class. It had to be special, you know, really, we went into it. It had to be perfect for the military. Um, and so, in attempting to do that the way I've always have, um, I end up burning the contacts off the, the solar panel so that is not good so what I ended up doing is just applying the solder to the iron and then the flux to the contacts and then just very quickly tapping it to make the, the solder go with this goat is gonna drive me crazy go away um, applying this the the iron very quickly to the contacts to make the solder go where the flux is onto the contacts so anyway that was uh, that took some doing and then the bus wires, you can see these, I connected them. Um, see these, this is actually the negative side here. Um, <coughs> it's supposed to be positive. Not the one I had. Well, see, I hooked them up reverse polarity. Because when I came out here, first of all, I was really surprised to see it work. See, there's a broken one right there. And these the way they came, they weren't soldered, like I said, very well. These these little tabs on the cells were not on there all the way. And I was trying to get them to lay flat, and they wouldn't. Oh, my God. And then when I put them into the, the frame, they shifted a lot. And so I was thinking, well, my goodness, will that mean that these things will short themselves out? And I was fully expecting this thing would not work. I was fully expecting it. I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever tried. Well, I came out here, out here and sure enough, I have... A working solar panel and I'll show you. Here's my voltmeter. If the goat would just turn loose of me, let me alone for a minute. Now I've got the dog in on the act. I tell you what, there's no peace around here. Quit it! Goat! Alright, so here's my voltmeter. You can see that. I think you can see that. Goat, stop it. I don't have a solar panel left. She's gonna keep chewing on it. Um, anyway, so it took 36. Get away from here, goat. Took uh, 36 of these uh, Everbright solar cells, which I got on eBay, um, and they're all in series. Like I said, whoops, I'm gonna pull positive lead out. Here we go. Right now, and I, what I did is I sacrificed a um, outdoor um, extension cord, cut off both ends, and soldered the wires to one of the, the positive and negative bus. Now I reverse polarity on here, so when I first came out here and I, I said, oh my god, I got negative 18 volts, but I just I just wired it up wrong. So it's a good thing I had this meter, elsewise I would have um, been reverse polarity when I get to hook this up. This is very difficult to do while holding a camera, I'm telling you what. Hang on one second. Like I said, it was, I hooked it up reverse polarity. All right, now we're in the full sun. Now, a little while ago, I had 18 volts, but now we're getting 12, which is, I guess, is why we put so many of these ding dong solar panels cells in here is to make sure that you get an average of about 12 volts. So there it is. So if you see that, I, you know, I need to reverse my leads to get positive, but there it is, a negative 12.0, 12.7. 
um, so a working solar panel for cheap I mean I have enough solar cells I bought enough for three panels and it was $200 and of course the uh, picture frame was only 30 bucks now um, the kit came with solder and a flux I did have to get another soldering iron because mine was not working right I thought it was the soldering iron at first just stop it Arr, go away go um, broke it. <laughs> it's not getting the, the voltage anymore. Uh oh. No, there it is. Okay. It's just the context of the shoe. So, but anyway, so all this is very cheap. Here's this pest that's driving me insane where I'm trying to show you my solar panel. Um, but anyway, so, and so it's what I had, oh, you know, I had to buy a meter because mine, you know, since all those years ago that I was electronic technician, mine had, was no longer any good. So $16 meter. Uh, maybe a four dollar extension cord, thirty dollar um, picture frame, um, two hundred dollar solar cells. I did buy another um, battery. I have um, already had a used um, six volt battery uh, for a um, lawn tractor, and so I got some five dollar connectors to hook that together in series. Um, and then I just need to buy a little bit of. Oh yeah, and I spent, I think, 19 or 20 dollars on a solar uh, charge controller, which I'm not even sure if that works. Um, so, but anyway, so altogether, under definitely under 500 dollars, maybe under 300 to build the whole outfit. So, um, a good good thing to do. So if if you see how ready this looks, but if it works, who cares? So anyway, that's my success story. I'm very jubilant today. Yay! Got solar power.